Hello everyone, Sazabi here. Today we'll be taking a look at the 1 to 144 scale G Gundam. This kit originally released in 1994. Here's the front of the box. Here's one side of the box. Here's the other side of the box, with a couple painted shots of the God Gundam itself. As well as a small image of Domon Kashu, the pilot. Here's the top of the box. And the bottom of the box is the same. Let's take a look inside this box and see what's here. Getting immediately into opening the box here. We're greeted by a small sticker sheet, especially for the time. Next up is our multicolored A1 runner. Then, soon after that, we have our A2 runner. Next up is a polycap runner featuring a rather interesting waist polycap. Next up is a split B runner between B1 and B2, which seems to just be a couple leg parts. Last up in this box is the instruction manual. Starting at the front, we can see a well-painted picture of this mobile zoo. On the other side, some artwork, including a stats spread for the machine. As well as a couple poses. Then, on the inside, more pictures of a painted copy of this kit, and of course, the instructions. That's all that's included within this 1 to 144 scale God Gundam. I'll see you when this kit's built. Moving on to aesthetics, we can certainly see where the budget went for the G Gundam line. This kit looks pretty good for 1994, with most parts being color accurate and colored with plastic parts. As for accessories, you get one, and that is a beam saber that the God Gundam can securely hold. It's very color inaccurate, looking more like a cheese stick rather than anything used in the anime. Now then, let's move into articulation. Have a ball jointed head, universal joints in the shoulders, an elbow swivel and single jointed bend, and a ball jointed wrist. This hand of mine is burning red! Its loud roar tells me to defeat you! Erupting, burning finger! Alright, that quite dumb sequence aside, let's get into how to actually do the super mode. First of all, you unpeg the gauntlet and peg it in in the forward position. Then, you open up the two claws. Last but not least, you spread out the wing binder. 
Unfortunately, the chest cannot open. Now for the Godfinger hand itself. Simply remove the existing hand and plug it in. It's on the ball joint, though it's very relaxed for a Godfinger. As for some comparisons, here it is with the high grade Death Army. Even for a 90s kit, this is small. Now for another comparison, here it is with the high grade RX-78 II Revive, just to see how far Gunpla Engineering's come. So, should you buy this kit? Unfortunately, I can't recommend it. If you want a 1 to 144 scale God Gundam, the high grade still exists. And, even as an artifact of its time, I can't recommend it. If you want engineering from this time, get something without a modern high grade, such as the Rising Gundam. This has been Sazabi. Have a nice day.